What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, we have got three rapid fire battles that we've got set up ready to smash the Spanish forces in North Africa. So let's get ready. Ludovico Castro, he has been sat in Cairo for an awful long time, and him and his army are getting their first taste of action against Hector de Castro with their reasonably elite army. So let's get going. So we need to make sure we maximise our use of artillery because the enemy does have a qualitative advantage over us in troops. Uh, however, we've got we've got a really good amount of artillery. We'll be able to that will more than make up for our for our, the potential disparity in troop quality. But yeah, we'll push this force back, then we'll fight the next battle, then we'll fight the next battle, and then it'll be a case of keeping the tempo going while we push across the north of the continent right guns up on the high ground up here take maximum advantage of that excellent field of fire we are we are going to be on the offensive so we want to make sure Cavalry on either flank. My general is going to be involved. My howitzers are going to be very specifically. I was going to say specifically targeting their elite units, but it appears that they are actually. Most of them are out of range. There goes the enemy cavalry. Well, there comes the enemy cavalry. All my artillery. Open up on that cavalry unit. Swiss Pikes, she Swiss Pikes and the Grenadero de Marina. I mean, Spain has a lovely roster. I really enjoyed, really enjoyed using their troops. My Crociera. I suppose you have really pushed up just a bit too far. Just focus the bulk of our. We'll get our foot artillery trap or shot these initial waves of enemy troops. Our line of infantry is shattered. So we don't have to worry about rushing up on the right flank because we appear to have quite a dominating position. These are elite troops over here. These are like guard infantry units. The inf Regimento. Where are they? Regimento de Infantria in Memorial del Rey. They are great infantry. Okay, we're going to push up just behind that lump and then we're going to start running our troops into position because we got an awful lot of firepower we can bring to bear here so there goes the swiss pikemen okay it's 
quick how it says that. There we go. So we've got the Swiss Line Infantry, these blocks of troops over here. You are a cracking quick line target to probably focus all of it on you guys. These guys are light, light troops. They do have some range capability, but they're mostly all about the melee. And they're not going to stand up to enemy fire. You may aim at the chase down the enemy gorillas. Horse grenade guards to the rear. Good hits on the Swiss line. We killed a few of our chaps. Okay, skirmishes advance. Get one of my gunners to switch to round shot, engage the horse grenade guards. Get my crossier out of the way. Okay, let's cut the corner, get more of these troops in the action. Push one howitzer unit. Pick off this unit on the flank, another howitzer unit, go after this block of fusiliers in the centre. Go after the marines. The grenadier guards are under fire. Commit my heavy cavalry to engage them. My general that was getting involved is now no, no longer involved. Run my heavy cavalry around the flank. Get my guerrillas to move to fire, folks firing on this pocket of troops here. Okay, the enemy threat in the center is Receding. Keep killing them. Yeah, it's because they keep running. Because they don't actually engage in combat and they keep running, they keep killing. Well, they keep shooting at. Yeah, right. You guys need to get back over here. So charge the rear of the 31st. That cavalry unit might rout. You men retreat, move back. Very well. Focus on the artillery. Let my infantry and everybody else engage the horse grenadier guards. Howitzers switched around shot, engage the line infantry. You pivot. Just make the, make the whole line advance. Here it is. Push around. Okay. Get my crossy air away. Cavalry involved in. Ooh, there goes the enemy elite troops. Kill that damn cavalry, that damn artillery unit. Good. Chase everybody down. If you can make the 31st Regiment route, that'd be super. Let's see if a cavalry charge can be the... It is. Excellent. Artillery fire. Round shot. Actually, ceasefire. Continue. 
there is a limit to how many of these units we can actually kill. Ceasefire, the howitzers. Madeira, the marina. We've successfully routed. We're going to kill an infantry mercenary unit though. That's something. Yeah, those units are going to escape. Gonna kill a f oh no, we're not gonna kill a fusilier unit. Curse you, fusilier! Unless you turn around to fight us. No. No, good victory though. They have been obliterated. Seven hundred men remaining. Back you go. Impossible, senor. Ludovico. Reinforce. And non posso farlo. He can't advance. Macario Parini. You're recruiting your... Oh, you can't, you can't recruit anything yet anyway. Because we have no money. Um, Lorenzo, I mean, the core of your... This is going to be an auto-resolve, I think, really. I suppose the way we could reinforce is by... Combining our weakest units together. And then push a unit out from the main city. The main city. The city. Right. Come on. You. You. 16 men remaining. Let's ban the unit. So we dispatch a new unit from two names. Great. Then, Mr. Sabatini, your army is not junior. Let's go get him. So the Spanish have reinforcements from a depleted army in the coming in from the south, but they are very badly damaged. Whereas this force is an elite army they're going to march along the coast capture Gibraltar push into Spain and we're going to bring death to the Spanish Empire and a new frontier against the Dutch bugged artillery don't you just love it awesome Bear in mind, we've got enemy reinforcements coming in. We need to be careful about where they are. Great. The enemy reinforcements are coming in from behind them. This section of the line is going to advance. You, know, you guys were just deliberately wanted to hold while the enemy foolishly charged the cavalry in. We're not going to charge, we're just going to bump into them. Engaging them in, in, a, in attacks at point blank range. Okay, the enemy, the enemy cavalry force is shattered. Keep advancing. Lots of breaking broken enemy units right off the bat. Sadly, we're not going to be able to take advantage of this. Not in the way that we would like. They, are, they will come back. Are you men about to bayonet charge us? Hope you know what you're getting into. 
shattered, broken. Yeah, the CD have returned. Cressier, deal with those hussars. These men should fire well into the general's bodyguard. Killed one general. Push forward. You men just run past them. Shattered. Yeah, you are. Kill the hussars. Smash that unit of fusiliers. They're at full strength, but fusiliers are terrible in melee combat, and they're not in a position to shoot at us. They're out of position. They're in trouble. with the enemy so you're just slowly scampering away okay let's use how it's a shot from my artillery coming in down that line of infantry unit. Advance. You may just ban it charge. Just the air might hold back. Go kill this general's bodyguard. I don't know if they're dead yet. Although there's an awful lot of routing troops. Grenadiers have stormed in. Charge into the back of the 46. Mr. Sabatini is getting a taste of blood himself. Oh, there's a fusilier unit out here. Okay, broken. Shattered. General shattered. Everybody push up. Cressier, chase them down. Grenadiers, advance. Kill them! Kill them all! So Cressier! They're going to take a hammering, but they are probably going to win against the Fusiliers. Again, the Fusiliers are excellent shooters, not as good as regular line infantry in melee combat. Okay, better pathfinding. Let's mop up these Fusiliers. I mean, we can cascade. Oh no, that volley is probably. The um, shooting's probably going to turn the tide here. There we go, chase them down. Four fusiliers left. Three. Like 
cavalry chase the desert warriors. You chase down the Amazons, cease fire all of the artillery. Got them, awesome. God, lots of these units are very far away from the edge of the map. I mean, you can try and chase down that line if you tune it, but I suspect you will not make it. Fusiliers are likely to escape. They are quite nicely spread out. But let's see if the pathfinding of lots of cavalry units help out. Yeah, they escaped. Still, good victory. I mean, this has been quite devastating Spain in North Africa anyway. Yeah, it's a good ratio right there. In marcha. Avanti. And then not only that, we're going to effectively force you to come save your city. We are going to sit here and let them um, respond because we don't have any money to do anything about it, really. Orlando Sabatini is a brave soldier. Macario Parini mentioned in dispatches. Ludovico is a confident general and he is steady under fire. Good stuff. First action. Gain some good command skills and the Chevron of experience. So we're probably going to get, get attacked by the Dutch here, but that's fine. Our front line here is pretty nicely secure. We've got forces ready to respond, or to well, not, not just respond, um, conduct attacks across the Baltic. We're ready for the war against Poland. Moscow is ours. Russia's destroyed. This is going to be a really interesting end turn phase. See what happens. Sorry, let's get rid of my bone. Okay, let's hit and turn and see how the world how the world deals with our growing superpower status. See, when the time comes, we want to attack Stockholm and Finland in one fell swoop, push on to take Norway, and then that Scandinavia knocked out. Yeah, there we go. Now the Dutch are panicking. Suddenly, oh my god, I didn't realise when you declared war on someone, all their friends would join in. Here they come. They're sallying at Cagliari, which is their prerogative, but they've got a pretty poor army. Let us defend. get busy so once we attack this this army i mean this army will likely head west and make sure we defeat the spanish and once we do that then we're into then we're into colonial territory right here artillery conduct a grand bombardment same with my howitzers okay i think my intention for the conscripts is to deploy against whichever deploy on whichever flank they are reinforcing from. That's the objective. We don't know we don't know where, so let's assume the right. My artillery is opening up. Focus on opening up on their infantry. Cavalry's coming to try and do some jiggery pokery to a regiment of horse and provincial cavalry. Not terrible in of themselves. Yeah, 
and my how my round shot, my howitzers can continue to bombard their artillery. We're going to mop up this way quite nicely. We've got overwhelming, an, an overwhelming firepower advantage. Okay, Dragoons are storming forwards, but we're ready for them. We don't want to get too aggressive with our cavalry. I mean, conscripts might only be conscripts, but they're better than militia. So they're going to be in a position to chase off the enemy cavalry. They've already been chased off. Okay, so my foot artillery is engaging this block. Let's see if I can get my heavy cavalry around to spook their general. Okay, here we go. This is where it begins. The slaughter. Okay, the general retreating to the safety of the fort, of the town. Dragoons are sucking up some of our musket shots, but they're broken again. push our infantry around the flank just to make our victory that much more secure. We're going to try and engage this block of conscripts. My general is going to be available to mop up routing troops. Artillery rounds inbound. Four volley after volley as these routed troops push them back. Concentrated artillery fire on clustered enemy positions. Am I coming in? The heavy cavalry there is taking a bit of a pounding. There's a, just a, a real wave of Dutch troops. Okay, let's pull my heavy cavalry out of there. They're getting overwhelmed. Okay, let's. So you're gonna pull form square, run my cavalry through the square. Dutch are reforming, so let's move our line forward a bit more aggressively. We target the artillery against their infantry units. I mean, we could be quick climbing like mad here, but I don't think it's necessary. Get my regiment of horse out on the flank. This infantry units could try and hold off multiple cavalry attacks. But in square formation. I might have to send my, my heavy cavalry in just to give them a bit of help. Keep the square formed. Get a howitzer to engage the enemy artillery. Get my cavalry forward. The shrapnel shotting us. Okay, lots of their cavalry is collapsed. General commit heavy cavalry. It's a lot of cavalry. It's gone. Let's try to pursue their, that unit of conscripts just to make sure they do. They do. They're routing. Let's see if we can break them. Or wavering. We have broken them. General, 
Pursue the 29th. Artillery, free target. Storm in. Conscripts are on the march. Yeah, they've been cut down. Their officer's dead. Your officer's dead. What do you do? What do you do? All right. He hesitated. He's dead. Let's go kill that horse artillery. Oh, this is where their reinforcements are coming in from. How cute. He managed to break. Conscripts. It's a mass retreat with epic proportions. Advance. New men advance. Fill the gap. Generals engaging the enemy gunners. Just try get one. There we go. We'll come back. Detachment of infantry. Head that way. It looks like. I mean, it looks like that army has properly broken. They're just all. Scampering home. Artillery! No. Come on, General. Come on. Let's see if we can chase down that Dutch bodyguard. Chase them down. They're tired. Cavalry retreat. Bring up some extra men. Yeah, for the most part, it looks like. There we go. Killed the enemy general. It looks like their you the rest of their army is gone. Advance a few units through the town just to make sure we do clear it. Heavy cavalry got engaged by the enemy infantry, that's fine. You men clear through the town as well. Kill them, militia. See if we can shatter them. Artillery, ceasefire. It's a ceasefire. Okay, we're being engaged by shrapnel shot, so we do have to advance. We do not want to get swamped by that. Yeah, my, my round shot is out of range. We can limber up if it'll do any good. Enemy Dragoons, you know, three pounder, two artillery units, they could do a lot of damage here, but that's kind of why we've got our uh, u men advance up to threaten the guns. Push forward, men! I heard a cavalry charge. Cease the cavalry charge. There we go. The 123rd are engaging the artillerymen. Thorn Square. Should be able to hold off against the dragoons as long as our square holds.
push forward and deal with the enemy guns. The square is held. They're bayonet charging us. They're suicide charging in. They know the end is here. Cavalry are broken. Now it's all down to the infantry. They are surrounded. They are vulnerable. The gunners are being massacred. Kill them. We've got them surrounded. Slaughter those poor militiamen, they're not going anywhere. Numbers are falling thick and fast. Yeah, there go the gunners. They had enough as well. Awesome. Right. Good victory there. The Dutch have attempted to try and break the siege of Cagliari and it's not worked. Now this is the big one, Spain. They're going to continue to try and flank our position at Tunis. Now our navy's in position. They're going to attempt to try and... Well, they are going to... Ooh, hello. You think we haven't been planning this, Poland? Oh, we have. We're ready. Sweden's trying to work out what to do because they're going. This is kind of not good. Not good for us, is it? And you go. No, it is not. I imagine Savoy might be dealing with rebels. I had to guess. Dagestan's at war with Persia. Don't mind that. Sending troops along. We're sending ships along to the Western Mediterranean. Really, I should I should um, blockade the Strait of Gibraltar just to really drive home the blockade of the Spanish coast. Percussion shells, new towns. This town in Serbia. Are you 100% Catholic yet? Pretty close. Another town in Ukraine. Azov, craft workshops. There you go. Flavio Buffon. So if we leave Moscow, they are understandably very upset. If I jump in with some dragoons, they are now not so upset. So Mr. Ferretti, we can move up to the Swedish frontier. Okay, before we do that, good. Okay, let's get potentially just start churning out some I mean they're not necessarily the best ships but we can start building up a bit of a Baltic fleet a Shrieker have a state house okay, just keep keep upgrading as much of our military production as we can well, our, our military and economic production as we can and you may as well just go here and then slam into Hector's army drive them west See? okay Ludovico you can head west into the desert as well you can head in towards this area yeah we found some more enemy troops I believe now you can call up some howitzer support that won't take forever to get here either. There it is. Take a bit of a it's a bit of a lag there. <laughs> I don't, don't know if you spotted it. Okay, there we go. 
Sea Replenish. So, are you going to try it? I mean, you tried it, and Bavaria said no. They pushed you back. Didn't really work for you, did it? Okay, let's... I mean, I think in theory, if we want to sabotage things, we have to sabotage the government building, because that just stops them collecting tax, and that will just kill everything. Well, in theory, that'll kill everything. Um, these ships sit right here. You can recruit three more ships, so let's get first rate to second rates to join you. Because this fleet here in Cadiz is just weak. Then probably Genoa. Let's recruit some extra ships to start raiding. Well, blockade Marseille and keep Cartagena closed. Well, let's break it. Let's sit back in Mallorca. Trade agreement cancelled with Poland. Workers have rioted in Moscow, but they've accepted it now. But what did they break? The Weaver's Cottage. Upgraded farm. Replace Nizhny Novgorod with a church school. Start converting the people to Catholicism. 14,000. Okay. You men, push Vilnius. We probably will fight it. I just want to get you guys up first. You just hold. In this case, we can advance up to the Corland border. Poland is hostile, protector of Poland. I mean, we may as well go for it. Don't call their allies in because we're already at war with Poland. Excellent. That's a good idea. So you need... You've got a bunch of elite troops. You don't have any cavalry, though. That's kind of a problem. Don't get what don't get grenadier guards, get some heavy cavalry. Okay, we have a we have a light galley. It's raid depot. I mean in theory that's a bad idea because all we're doing is just adding costs to ourselves. Um, but I think that's acceptable. Anzin Parada. Let's see if we can assassinate him. 36%. Found another enemy army as well. Interesting. But well, let's take Vilnius from Poland. Let's teach them what it means to make war against us. Although, to be fair, they didn't really have a choice. We're going to march in, clear them out. Well, I think, yeah, this campaign's going gangbusters. We're at a point now where we are just going to start steamrolling. I think we need to build, well, I mean, keep growing our economy. Um, well, the next step is going to be to eventually crack the nut of Prussia. That's going to be a mighty engagement. We need to clear out Prussia because they still could cause problems. We've got lots of German states to the west still cause problems but for now we can gain a tactical advantage through control of Scandinavia I think for the meantime we have to try and exercise it let's maybe put my pikes on the left and advance the map something like that Heavy cavalry on the right. Let my infantry open up as they wish. Infantry run up rapidly. Get the Swiss grenadiers here. 
rid of mercenaries here. Cavalry hold here. I mean, this left flank is going to wrap around quite a lot. Clear the wood line. Form position into in the wood line. Then we're going to clear through it. Sure, my sharpshooters fire it all off. Super. Artillery. Start whipping shrapnel shot through the trees. Mercenaries. Actually keep, actually, keep the grenades in the fight. Run my cavalry towards the, the mercenaries. Okay. Quick lines exploding in the trees. It's called one unit to break and run. Charge the mercenaries. The pike might have forgotten to run them in. You men engage the dragoons. Sharpshooters push around. Okay, grenadiers from square, mercenaries. Push the flank and start taking pot shots at the provincial line. Cavalry get in here and deal with the provincial cav. New men try and assassinate the general bodyguard effectively. Let's get my general to support this flank. Pikemen, you need to get up here and support this engagement pretty rapidly. Okay, that flank. Okay, this flank starting to left flank is definitely where they've got most of their well that's the focus of their effort that's the cent their center of gravity cavalry get out of there cross the air keep killing the dragoons general bodyguard routed the pikemen are in so Polish infantry is competent in melee combat. But ours, ours isn't terrible. Hello, Eastern European mercenaries. Bombard them. Where'd you come in? You don't from square, just attack it. Excellent. Dragoons are broken. Run my dragoons in. Do you know you men just hold where you are? Heavy cavalry charging to the back of the enemy infantry. The militia are broken. The line infantry is shattered. Get out of the way. Push through the trees. So you're in right here. You go for the general. This infantry. Push around the flank. You guys, everyone except the pikes. Form a new front line. Pikemen. The opposite. Sharpshooters get out of the way. Enemy general been killed. Infantry form up. Although the right flank's been taken care of. 
advance towards where they're hiding. Artillery switched around shot, attack the mercenaries, foot artillery, engage the 24th regiment. They're popping off some shots, but they're in a pretty awesome position. They are also being fired upon. And they've broken and ran. The cowardly dogs! There they go. Nice. The city is taken. Poland is squeezed into one little pocket. The territory is ours. There's lots of enemy... Lots of happiness buildings. Do you have happiness problems, Poland? Is there one, two? We can definitely get rid of one. You're kind of unhappy with this, but it's not a, I'm not hugely worried about that. You're going to advance towards Minsk, although you should start to suffer from financial challenges. College, that'll be why you're unhappy. Let's get rid of the college. Okay, let's for, well, I suppose the only thing to do is to take this force and attack Yalgava. But looking at the timer, that's going to take us right over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Courland faction. Cheers, everyone.